the goddess Saraswati is talking to King Vidurata, uh, letting him know what the true nature of things is and what his own true nature is. Saraswati continued, to an immature and childish person who is confirmed in his conviction that this world is real, it continues to be real, even as a child who believes in a ghost is haunted by it throughout his life. The situation is a bit like having an imaginary friend. And we talk to that friend, we feed that friend and everything else, as if it's real. Um, we throw ourselves into this kaleidoscope that we call the world. We engage with it, we move from one aspect to another. Our, our emotions go up and down with respect to it. But the point here is, it is just the one thing. If a person is enamoured of the appearance of the bracelet, he does not see that it is just gold. He who sees the glory of palaces, elephants and cities does not see the infinite consciousness which, is, which alone is true. So when we look at things, we look at them as discrete, as separate objects, rather than having a sense that they're manifestations of the one thing. It's like seeing this as a fist and ignoring the fact that it's actually a hand um, all we're seeing is a fist without any awareness of it being a hand. This universe is but a long dream. The ego sense and also the fancy that there are others are as real as dream objects. Um, it says it's a long dream. It seems like a long dream, but uh, until you wake up, dreams don't really take any time at all, or very little time. In fact, the whole notion of time is part of the dream. The ego sense and also the fancy that there are others uh, are as real as dream objects. Yeah, when you appear in a dream, you're no more real than anybody else in the dream. I mean, in fact, you might be completely different in the dream to how you are in real life. You're as much a dream character in your own dream as the other characters. You've got no special status, really. The sole reality is the infinite consciousness which is omnipresent. That's all there is. Pure, tranquil, omnipotent. It's omnipotent because it, it's responsible for all this and whose very body and being is absolute consciousness. Therefore, it's not an object and it's not knowable. It's what does the knowing. It's consciousness which does the knowing. You cannot know consciousness. Wherever this consciousness manifests, in whatever manner, it is that. Hence, when the seer fancies seeing a human being, a human being happens there. When the seer, I think this is using the word seer in the sense of one who sees. Um, and it says when the seer fancies seeing a human being, a human being happens there. It's as if I've got a notion for the, to be a human being, therefore I shall manifest a human being there. I think this is how this kind of thing is often understood, which I think is a mistake. Um, there's no cause and effect here. Um, all it's saying is everything is happening of its own accord. So the word fancy doesn't really seem to be appropriate here. It is just doing what it does. And we can say oh, it's doing what it does because it fancies doing that. Um, everything happens just as, as it happens. Uh, there's no reason for it. The seer, I think it's wrong to say the seer fancies seeing a human being any more than you fancy 
seeing Godzilla chasing you in a dream. Um, so the word fancy is perhaps not appropriate. Because the substratum, the infinite consciousness, is real, all that is based on it acquires reality, though the reality is of the substratum alone. So we can say the fist is real because the hand is real. This universe, I mean, there wouldn't be any, if the hand wasn't real, there wouldn't be any, we couldn't say anything about the fist. This universe and all beings in it are but a long dream. To me you are real, and to you I am real. Even so, the others are real to you or to me. And this relative reality is like the reality of the dream objects. This relative reality is what I call the conventional reality. It's all the assumptions in, that we assume, the notions that we make, we agree to have in common which allow us to communicate. But it's no more than a, a fabrication. 